Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is going to be about selecting some objects. As you can see, I've got, um, I just made a menagerie of things, but I'm going to select all these. I've got 100, I've got 69 objects on this page. I've got up of lines and boxes and text. But let's say you want to get rid of the text. Each one of these texts, of course, I duplicated them, but they're they're individually. And I want to get rid of all the text, or change the text, or change the font, change the size. Go up to Edit, and go down to Select All, and move over to Select Text. I can hit the Delete key and get them all to get rid of them, or I can change them all to Arial. I could change the color, I could change the bold, because I've got all the text selected without having to go through and individually, well, you could do this and then hold down your shift key and you'd have those two and then you could change those two. Now, this is just as important, of course, you can't just grab the, the objects away because there are the objects or the fonts are an object too. It has it's it's acts like one of the objects. Now I guess you could go up to view or to edit, select all objects, text, and then you could go and this is important if you were gonna go outside or you're gonna send the file somewhere and you want to convert the text to curves. Now you've got nine objects selected on that curve. Let's see. We've still got the 69 objects because it was treating them, the text as an object. But now this is a curve and cannot be changed. Uh, I do this a lot. If I'm going to go out and run a job outside, I draw in the house because it's uh, more comfortable uh, heat-wise or cold-wise. And then I can go out to the shop and run it. Well, if I don't have that font out in the shop, I have to come back in and change it to a curve. So this way... I've changed it to a curve. That computer will open it up. But the same thing, you could, if you draw with a lot of guidelines, and I just half-heartedly threw some guidelines out here, but you could go up to Edit, Select All, Select All Guidelines, and hit Delete, and you get rid of all your guidelines all in one stroke. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.